Hi, today we're going to make churchur naan or paratha for, uh, with the stuffing and without a stuffing. For that, we need wheat flour, plain flour called maida, and makai ki atta called maize flour. Salt to taste, baking soda, this will give nice crunchiness to your paratha, ghee or butter. For the measurement, you can check always uh, check my description box. Chopped coriander leaves, sugar. Fresh curd, make sure you use a fresh curd, not sour curd. An ajwain seed called caraway seed, this is very good for your digestion. Crumble using your finger, mix until the mixture is well combined. At this time, you don't add any water, just like you're playing with wet sand. Now add water in a small portion, make a make into a soft dough because if you add more water you will end up getting sticky dough. If you find sticky dough then you can always add little flour and form a nice soft dough. Now the dough is ready, apply little ghee or butter and give little uh, massage for a second. And allow to rest for 30 to 45 minutes. After 30 to 45 minutes, dough is ready to cook. Now we'll make naan, chuchu naan without a stuffing. This time we are using normal pan, not non-stick pan. For that we need a normal uh, size of dough. And just uh, roll the rotis into a very thin roti because we have to make a layers or fold because more the layer more the roti flaky and crispy will be try to make as thin as possible apply little ghee or butter and start rolling them or fold them yeah apply little flour now start rolling or you can fold also more the layer the more the crispy and um, flaky the, the roti will be now you can uh, sprinkle on top the kolonji seed or chopped spring onion or coriander leaves kasuri methi whatever your choice and just sprinkle on top and start rolling the dough make it into a medium circle like a disc, disc size And uh, if you find little sticky, you can always apply little flour and roll them. And uh, just uh, apply little water on the other side, like this, like the way I'm doing. And make sure the pan is nice and hot. And place the roti on the hot pan and flip us upside down like this, like the way I'm doing. And cook on the gas top directly. Directly on the flame like this. Make sure each and every corner well cooked. When you see the bubbles and brown, brown spots, the paratha is ready. So you have to make sure you cook each and every corner, like the way I'm doing. Now the paratha is ready. See, the paratha is well cooked. Now before serving, um, add a little more butter or ghee. That's why it is yum and uh, crush the paratha that's why they call chur chur paratha crush the naan oh, like this like the way i'm doing it's very hot <laughs> yep and uh, if you don't have time to do like this flip the tawa and make the roti you can just always do on direct on the gas top uh, this time you can use non-stick pan 
Now place the roti on the non-stick pan. Make sure you flip two, three times. You can cook this roti direct on the flame like this, like the way I'm doing. Make sure you cook <coughs> each and every corner. See, you'll get nice and brown spot like this. Make sure you cook evenly. Otherwise, you will turn up in the inside, it will be too raw. You have to at least two, three times you have to flip and cook like this, like the way I'm doing. Now, the same, you add a little bit ghee and crush the naan. And serve with the, you can serve with the green chutney, green chili, raita, pickle. amazing so now we'll uh, cook with the stuffing for this also we can use non-stick pan for that we need well mashed potato green chilies grated paneer chopped coriander leaves and i use a lot of chopped uh, garlic saute them with little oil garlic and uh, white part of the spring onions chop them saute them a little bit till you get a nice uh, brown color make sure you don't burn the garlic then you'll get end up getting a bitter taste so now the the garlic is ready now we can add this garlic to mixture of paneer and parat uh, aloo we have more ingredients to add that is uh, um, anar dana salt red chili powder roasted cumin powder black pepper garam masala powder armchur powder and roasted uh, coarsely ground dhania powder add all this spices to the paneer and uh, potato mixture and form a very 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 soft dough like potato dough so then you can roll the paratha very nicely so make sure the salt and spiciness according to your taste see the it is so nice and soft heat the pan and now spread the and uh, the dough with your finger like this like the way i'm doing and add the mixture the potato paneer mixture make sure you seal them properly otherwise while you're rolling the stuffing might come out and same time heat the pan and sprinkle colony seeds spring onion chopped spring onion or dhania kasuri methi you can uh, start um, pressing like this the roti with your finger or you can roll with your rolling pin you can uh, form it a nice see you can roll so nicely when the potato is well mashed now place the roti on the tawa and cook evenly both the sides make sure you cook three four times when you see the see the brown spots and bubbles add little more ghee generous amount of ghee not little that's why it's so yummy you can't die at when you're eating this paratha I swear make sure this you cook nice and crispy this paratha that's why it's so tasty when you cook nice and crispy make sure you cook evenly every corner now the paratha is ready it's nice and crispy you can uh, crush this paratha and serve with the um, cucumber raita green chutney or pickle green chili um, i hope you enjoy this watching this recipe and i i want you to try this roti you will fall in love with this roti so enjoy and like share and subscribe to my channel thank you